how's it going guys? Win360 is here today to do a full in-depth review of the 2015 Apple iPod Touch, also known as the 6th generation iPod Touch. It's the first iPod Touch Apple has announced in nearly three years, but the good news is that we get some significant upgrades in the latest iPod compared to the last gen. So let's begin with a tour of the hardware. So now we have an 8 megapixel eyesight camera same as the iPhone 6 though this does not have the uh, sapphire crystal lens cover so I'm pretty certain that the lens will get scratched up at some point down the road particularly when it's protruding out similar uh, to the lens on the iPhone's camera it also has a slightly smaller f2.4 aperture compared to the iPhone so the pictures won't be as good as the iPhone's but then again I don't really think anybody is buying this for the camera. Uh, the pictures taken are presentable and it's more than enough for sharing onto Instagram or uh, other social media channels, but just don't expect it to impress you. Video recording remains at 1080p resolution, uh, but it's limited to 30 frames per second. Next, next to the camera, we have the microphone and also the LED flash or backlight illumination according to Apple's website, whatever you want to call it. Speaking of the camera, let's jump into the camera app. And uh, it's pretty much identical to what you would ex uh, expect on an iPhone. A pano panorama, pano, slow motion, time lapse, all of those features are uh, present on the iPod as well. And uh, on the back again, we have the Apple logo along with the word iPod engraved underneath. And uh, this black bar, the Wi Fi antenna, and also the Bluetooth receiver is housed in this black bar. Front facing camera is the uh, FaceTime HD camera at 1.2 megapixels, and it's capable of 720p HD video recording. Again, it's more than enough for apps such as Skype or FaceTime. At the bottom here, we get the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Next to that is the lightning port for charging and syncing, and also the speaker, which is reasonably loud, and you'll have a chance to hear it later when I play some games to test performance. We have our home button here, which does not support Touch ID and therefore won't support Apple Pay. We get nothing on the right spine, and on the left spine, we get the volume up and down keys. The power button is found at the top. You're getting a 4-inch 1336 by 640 resolution IPS multi-touch display with a pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. And I have to say the screen is stunning and uh, quite good in terms of color accuracy and vibrancy. And it can get really bright in the sun under the sunlight, so no issues under direct sunlight. And it can also uh, get very dim as well. As you can see here, it can get very bright and it can also get very dim, and that's what I like it about, and that's why I like it a lot. After using a 5.1 inch, 5.5 inch devices for for a while now, it's refreshing to come back to something that you can wrap your entire hand around, and uh, and it's and it's nice to be able to do that. So the iPhone is extremely pocket friendly, and it's also very portable. One more thing to mention is that if you order the iPod from Apple.com you can have them engrave two lines of text on the back here so uh, for free and so that's a nice touch to make the device feel more personal plus you get two day free shipping so I would just make this uh, if you so if you're interested I would just buy this up online if you're interested it saves you a trip to the Apple store on the software side of things we get the familiar iOS home screen with uh, the standard built-in apps you would expect from Apple. We got uh, FaceTime, calendar, photos, camera, weather, stocks, passbook, uh, calculator, Apple Health, uh, Apple Music, uh, podcast, etc. And this is running iOS 8.4, uh, the greatest and latest version of iOS. So that means Apple Music does come pre-installed out of the box, as I mentioned. Um, this is you can also slide up from the bottom. That gives you access to the quick toggles, um, which is nice to be able to uh, turn on the Wi-Fi on and off and the Bluetooth and also airplane mode. You can also uh, and spot 
and Spotlight Search isn't going anywhere either. You can just swipe down from any screen and just type in your query. And of course, Siri is present as well. Uh, since we're on it already, let me just ask... What is the size of Pluto? Not a bad answer, but anyways, if you're an Apple user, you'll find yourself right at home. Battery is okay for uh, the iPod. Apple says you can get up to 8 hours of video playback, so and also uh, 40 hours of music playback. So uh, now let me just play a few games to test the gaming performance. Theoretically, Asphalt 8 should be able to run relatively smoothly on this. Um, due to the upgrades under the hood, such as the A8 processor with M8 Motion coprocessor and a gig of RAM now, as opposed to 512 megabytes of RAM in the last gen. So let me just uh, go ahead and play a race for you guys. Next, start a race. Again, the smaller form factor is really nice in the hand, especially for playing games and stuff. Nevada. All right, let's get started. Hopefully you can hear that the speakers are actually pretty loud, even though you can easily muffle it with your hand so I wish uh, it was on the front like HTC's boom sound, but whatever, it works. Uh, Alright, I think I'm gonna... Alright. Hopefully I don't crash on camera. Uh, ouch. Alright, I suck, I, I wrecked, okay, whatever. Uh, but you get the idea, the gaming performance is very solid. Um, as I was playing, there were very few hiccups, and it was very smooth gameplay throughout. And as I mentioned earlier, I was going to test out the speaker, so let me just go ahead and play a video. Alright. Yeah, but again, as I said before, it's very easy to muffle it. But this is at full volume, and as you can see, it's as you can hear, it's it's very loud. All right, so that's that. Uh, so overall, this is an excellent iPod, obviously the best iPod yet, but for, for most people, I don't think this is all that compelling. Um, you know, especially since most people now can use just use their phone to listen to music. They don't need a separate music player, but there is definitely still a market for this uh, iPod Touch too, especially younger kids that want an Apple device at an affordable price of only $199 and also for people they want to get a taste of the Apple uh, the iPhone experience excuse me for cheap and also for people that want to get their feet wet in the Apple ecosystem so I think there's still uh, a market for this even though that market is shrinking let me know in the comments uh, below on your thoughts about the new iPod touch I would love to hear from you what do you think I would love to hear from you uh, thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe like and share with your friends thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.